Heavy D TV hashtag solidify. Hey guys, it's been ages since I've uh, you know posted a video, but that, that time everyone, all the viewers have been like, "Better hurry up and get another one out there." Um, so um, I just sat down to have some lunch, and I thought, "Oh, I better finish this uh, personality plus off." Um, so we really have to um, just nut out just a little bit about the uh, introverts. So on my last episode, we spoke uh, in depth a little bit about the extroverts, which was your choleric, uh, powerful choleric. Okay, and the uh, playful, uh, uh, or the popular sanguine. Um, and now today's episode, uh, we're basically going to go through um, your two introverts, which is your perfect melancholy um, and your laid back phlegmatic or lazy phlegmatic, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, you got the perfect melancholy. So we'll run through uh, the perfect melancholy first, and then we'll go through the, um, the phlegmatic um, to natured. Uh, People. Now the thing about Heavy D TV is that um, you know it's it's I've got about 100 videos or maybe 200 videos in my head, um, and my mind is is here. Where I have to start with the videos is say about 10 years, 10 years ago um, of my education, uh, even longer, maybe 10, 15 years ago, and then I have to try and obviously uh, get everyone caught up um, so I can keep progressing and going on and on. So we're gonna wrap up the, uh, the personality traits. Now remember these personalities, that these are traits, okay? So these are found in your DNA, and it's, uh, it's the way that you think, intake uh, information, uh, process it, and then obviously deliver uh, information too. Now, um, Personality Plus is the book. Um, get a hold of it, or you can Google um, Personality Plus and read out about the, uh, the four temperaments. Um, and also on Heavy D TV, we go through astrology. Um, now the whole thing is to obviously find out your personality, better yourself, be confident, know your good traits, your bad traits, make yourself work better for you, okay? Then get really, really good at that, learn about other people, um, pick up within three to 10 seconds, um, you should be able to pick up people's traits, characteristic traits, their temperaments, um, and there's a whole lot of things that um, you, know, you need to go through first. And I'm starting with the, um, the temperaments, obviously, personality temperaments. So, out of the choleric, the sanguine, the melancholy, and the phlegmatic, we're gonna run through the melancholy and the phlegmatic. Now, the melancholy, wow, what can I say about the melancholy? Well, the melancholy is, uh, is the type of person at school, okay, that gets their work done, okay? They get their homework done, they dot the I's, they cross the T's, they're quite perfect, okay? And if they notice somebody doing something not so perfect or taking shortcuts, it really gets to them, okay? They are all about the facts and the truth. Uh, they do not want to learn something from a sanguine who's got a story that is exaggerated and it might not have happened, a little twist and turns here to make the story sound better. No, they will ask questions after questions to find out. Information people, these people are melancholies, okay? Now, melancholies are very smart because they are information people. So you'll find melancholy is basically, um, you know, maybe in uh, a lot of uh, desk jobs, IT, um, stuff like uh, computer work, uh, spreadsheets, uh, accountants, stuff like that. Um, doctors, uh, melancholies basically uh, do extremely well when it comes to um, learning information uh, and doing things the right uh, way. Uh, they can be very analytical of uh, everything because obviously they are, you know, trying to be perfect melancholy uh, and they expect everyone else to kind of be, you know, if they're not on their path or on their, on their same path when it comes to communication or relaying information or stories or helping somebody out. Um, so they're, they're, they're the good traits. Now the bad traits about the melancholies is um, they can be quite analytical and judgmental. Uh, and things have to be done, you know, perfectly their way. The only thing about the uh, melancholy is that they uh, they take their time. Okay, um, they won't go out and um, you know build a um, a project, say a cabinet or something, without reading the rules first, doing it step by step, uh, having everything laid out, all the nuts, the bolts, everything in its position first, and then they will attack. Okay, so if somebody in school or in uh, work or whatever, you know, uh, the way that they hold themselves at a standard, 
okay, will come through in their work. Uh, and that's how you can try and pick a, a, a melancholy. Now by interacting with a melancholy, you're looking at things like, uh, you know, their questions. So digging deeper and questioning and trying to find out exactly the correct uh, picture in their mind of what somebody's trying to say. And they're very interested to find out information um, so they can obviously learn themselves. Uh, now, <clears throat> So that's basically the melancholy. Now the melancholy kind of clashes a little bit with the, uh, the choleric um, and also the sanguine, which is the two extroverts. Uh, they'll clash with the choleric because of, uh, you know, debating who's right or who's wrong. Um, the choleric always thinks they're right. The melancholy, they think they're right too because they've got the facts to back it up. And the thing about the choleric is that they sometimes don't have the facts to back it up. They learn as they go. Yeah. Now with the sanguine, um, the sanguine uh, extrovert, uh, the melancholy can get quite frustrated with the sanguine because the sanguine is completely not perfect. Okay, it's completely the opposite to perfect, and they are just free flowing, just making stuff up as they go, talking as they're going, and there's no real plans. They, they can't stick to any structure. Um, they interrupt people. Um, they always want to be the loudest. Um, their stories are exaggerated like I keep going on about it and they fluff it up a bit so it sounds really you know, impactful. Um, so that can be quite uh, annoying for the melancholy and they will pick out a uh, sanguine and they will be like, oh yeah, well, full of shit. <laughs> uh, it wasn't me full of shit or something like that, you know what I mean? Um, now with the, um, the phlegmatic, now the phlegmatic is the other uh, you know, introvert. Now with the phlegmatic introvert, uh, they're the quiet, they're the laziest, the quietest, the most easiest going people that you can find. These guys do not get angry. They're very emotionally stable. They keep them thoughts to themselves. They're not judgmental. Um, they they just go with the flow. Um, they will not talk back. They will not even uh, you know add their opinion. They they're basically um, you know the most uh, calmest. Uh, they do not like to have confrontation. Um, but the thing about the phlegmatic is that, um, you know, when they've decided that they don't like you, then that's it. <laughs> they don't like you. Um, but it's very hard to get a phlegmatic not to like you. Uh, and you won't even hear about it or know about it if this phlegmatic likes you or not, because they won't tell you nothing. Um, now the thing about the phlegmatics is they're quite lazy, so <clears throat> if they've got some melancholy in them, um, then they're thinkers, okay, but then they've got the high percentage of phlegmatic, which means that they're not doers, okay, they're not like choleric and, and do. So they're sitting there in life and then they, they, they rarely move house, they rarely move job, they rarely bloody go, it's like they rarely s stop their structure, okay, they're, they're not spontaneous. Um, they're routine people, structured people, they're quiet people, laid back, easy going, they can't make decisions. Um, so, fucking perfect, right? You're like, yeah, I want one of them. <laughs> now, that's all good, like, you know what I mean? But the thing, the bad thing about the um, phlegmatics um, is that their energy levels, they're not very motivating, okay? So, you know, the you can have in-depth conversations with them, so melancholies and phlegs, you know, they kind of get along. Cholerics like to lead, legs like to follow. Okay, so they kind of get along. Sanguines, you know, they're the, they're the life of the party, they're the attention seekers. So they like being around flex too. So everyone likes the flex. Um, but the thing is that uh, you get bored of the flex. Okay, they don't offer too much when it comes to energy and um, atmosphere and environment um, and connection and all that sort of stuff. Uh, and it's very hard to, to know exactly what they're thinking. Uh, and they'll give you like a, just a one word answer and then you're kind of going, oh, um, um, okay, well surely there's more behind it, but they won't, that, that's it. It's just straight up answer question. Um, you have to keep asking questions to get a phlegmatic to keep talking. Um, so, so there are introverts. I'm not gonna make the video too long. Um, just uh, nice little quick ones. Uh, and I always obviously keep going over everything each video anyway, just to kind of refresh and update uh, you guys with the personality traits and the temperaments. Now, I will finish off by saying that um, 
you know, the key fundamental things that make up a human being, a person, and with Heavy D TV, uh, with the education side of it, you know, we're gonna be delving down uh, a lot. We're gonna be covering the brain, the body, hormones, functions, attitudes, emotions, reactions, uh, society, relationships, um, also uh, personalities, traits, uh, temperaments, personality traits, uh, just like your astrology, star signs, um, you know, your upbringing, so it's from zero to seven, so your parents, looking at your parents and your upbringing and how that's different to somebody else, also defines you. Um, and then obviously your, your experiences, okay, defines you, so we're running through that. And then you also got your influences, obviously, which is kind, kind of what's currently going on in you in the moment. Now, yes, the thing is, it's very interesting when you, when you, when you think about that, and then you try and put somebody in front of you for an experiment, and then you've got a goal to find out everything you can about this person. So you're asking everything, right? From their fucking, from zero to where they are now, how they got there, what they've gone through, and where they go, and what sort of people they hang out with, and their, their life experiences, and from that you can gather, okay? First of all, your mind will be, okay, introvert, extrovert, okay, pull them aside. And then you categorize them. Choleric, nature high, bit of sanguine, or choleric, melancholy, or melancholy, choleric, or phlegmatic, melancholy, or phleg, uh, sorry, melancholy, phlegmatic, or uh, something like that, you know, you kind of categorize them. So when you're doing this with other people, and finding out about them, it makes it a lot easier to get along with them and understand people and where they're at. Especially when it comes to age from experiences, especially when you find out where people are at. Um, with relationships, what they're going through, and you'll find out a lot of people, um, and it doesn't matter about a matter about age, it's all about the experience, okay? So somebody could be having their first breakup or relationship when they're like 50 years old, and they'll be going through the same phase that somebody will be going through at the age of say 28 or 32 of their first breakup. Even though they're fucking 20 years apart, okay? But the mind and what they're attacking in life and what they have to go through and what to get to the next path, etc. Okay, it's very important. Uh, also, you know, we'll be covering lots of things about, um, you know, releasing your past and not letting that uh, hold you back. So by releasing the past, basically will open up new energy. Okay, so if you're open-minded, that new energy that comes in, you'll be able to actually feel that and, and go along with that because you're uh, over the past. But if you keep taking things from the past into the future, you will carry that with you. You keep talking about, you'll, you'll carry that with you. Yeah, it's good to open up, good to be vulnerable, and good to share things, but you know, but when you're in front of somebody and you're interacting with different types of people and you're going forward in life, okay, it's uh, always better to have a fresh mind and take everything at face value, okay, without uh, judging somebody from, uh, you know, talking to them from the first two minutes ago and oh, you're just like them all or you know what I mean. So it's very important uh, to understand other people and where they're at and that will help you communicate and get along with people. Now the thing about that is um, it's very important because you never know what somebody's energy may offer you or may help you in life, okay? So stay tuned for uh, a lot more of uh, Heavy D TV and we hashtag at Solidify because once you've found out your personality and you're fucking feeling as confident as you can be within yourself, then what we do is we solidify it, okay? We make it uh, more bold, more stronger, more solid, okay? And then we're talking about you are gonna be doing it to yourself. Then watch all the positive stuff come your way. This is Heavy D TV, and I'm wrapping up the Personality Plus book with our first personality, with our four personality traits. Uh, the next episode coming up, uh, I'm not quite sure, but we're looking at, uh, at our, um, you know, at experiences um, that will basically go through our horoscopes and astrology first and get you guys to, you know, look up as much as you can um, about yourself and see what matches up, okay? Now, once again, for example, if you're looking at uh, somebody with a uh, very out there, personality, you know, and they're matched up with an out there horoscope, 
Well, it kind of makes sense, yeah? But then once again, people that, just because you're a certain horoscope doesn't mean that that's, that's you, you're locked in. No, it's only a little percentage, okay, of character traits, okay? What defines you is your upbringing and your experiences, okay? What you can't um, control yet is your temperaments, okay, and your character traits. So you might as well learn about them and fucking solidify it. This is Heavy D, signing out for Heavy D TV. Hashtag solidify. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's only young, but it'll be gone for the next 35 years.